All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing the new 2021 Camry. Uh, I'm not going to be discussing the whole lineup. I'm really, I really want to focus on the XSC, the higher trim models, the sport trim models, uh, and the differences between the 2018 through 2020 to the new 2021. So I'm mostly going to just talk about the design because they really haven't changed. Uh, the powertrains are still off of the four cylinder, still off of the V6 that's in, that's in this car. Uh, the biggest difference is the exterior and also the infotainment, which they moved to the tablet style, like the Highlander and other uh, Toyota models. Uh, first off the bat, I don't like the tablet style uh, infotainment. It just looks out of place. Uh, with the 2018 through 2020, it's integrated nice into the dashboard. It flows. It fits well. It looks like they just tacked it on. Now, the one benefit I will say about that tablet style is it's higher. So, for example, when you're driving, you want to look at the map, you want to look at, uh, you know, your playlist, your music, your radio, or anything else on the screen. Instead of kind of looking down like this, you're going to be looking up like this, kind of like where the camera is right now. Uh, so that's the only benefit, but I would rather have it more integrated than have it higher up. Um, so there are positive and negatives about the new tablet style. Uh, the interior has been a little bit, you know, besides from that, everything else is mostly the same. The new XSE offers heated and cooled seats my model 2018 xsc fully loaded only offers the heated seats going over to the front the exterior front you can see the side fake you know the, the fake side air vents uh have gotten bigger uh they they accentuated it more it comes out more i, I do like it uh it looks good uh, it's a nice design evolution. Uh, moving over to the center, you can see the grill has been changed. A new grill design compared to what's on my 2018. Uh, it looks good. You know, not a big difference. A little bit different design. They had to change it up somehow. Also, the lower fascia is a little different. It looks good, but the the they added, I think, a little bit too much silver. That silver trim looks good on the silver models, but if you have a red or a galactic aqua like mine or a blue... Uh, or black, that silver looks a little out of place, that silver trim at the bottom. So overall, I mean, that's the biggest change really with the front. Uh, the biggest thing I noticed when I first looked at it was the side fake air vents. Uh, they accentuated them more, they come out more. It looks good. Uh, I know this is just a mid-cycle refresh. They haven't really, you know, this wasn't meant to be this huge new, here's the new, gen you know, the ninth generation Camry. It's more of Let's just take the existing design and, and improve a bit on it. Also, one thing you can notice is the darker accents in the headlights. Um, the amber isn't as bright, and especially that goes with the taillights in the back. Toyota has that thing going on now with headlights and taillights. They're smoking them out a bit. They're making them more uh, dark. They really should have changed, you know, I think with the new, even with the refresh, they should have changed something, a couple more things in the rear. They, they left the taillights the same. They left the lower fascia the same. Uh, you know, little, little, little minor differences, but really the rear is the same. The biggest thing is the front end that they changed. Now, going back, you know, you going back, I mean, it's, it's really only those couple things that they've changed. So my overall opinion is, you know, I, I do like it. Is it something where I'm going to jump out of my current Camry and go to the new one? Probably not. Uh, I wish they would offer a all-wheel drive V6 model. That would be, if somehow if they, the reason they don't now, the reason they don't offer an all-wheel drive V6 now is just it's too heavy. It'd be too heavy. Uh, if they could find a way to make an all-wheel all -wheel drive V6 with more power uh, and still keep it naturally aspirated, I would for sure think about maybe trading in my, my front-wheel drive. But um, I, I definitely understand why Toyota doesn't do it. The all-wheel drive four-cylinder, I've heard good things about acceleration, handling. Uh, and the all, you know, the four-cylinder, I'm not hating on the four-cylinder. It's a good engine, but uh, the V6 definitely has a little bit more character and obviously a little bit more power. Uh, and, and a to totally different character, the way it drives, the way it, you know, you know, the way the way the transmission behaves with it. Um, so, you know, th those things I'm really, really, you know, the, the whole lineup in general, I, I like. Uh, I wouldn't jump out of this just yet. Um, two things I do wish I had on this 18 Camry, because mine XSC is fully loaded for the 18-year uh, year model, is the cooled seats and the heated steering wheel. I know the heated steering wheel comes with the all-wheel drive Camry, um, the XSC all-wheel drive. Um, but, you know, I, I really do think, and also one thing I did forget to mention is the XSC wheels, 
uh, on the 2021 hybrid, at least that they've released, have been blacked out. Now, what do I think of this? I don't think the blacked out look is really good. I like the wheels the way they are with the, the black accents, but has that silver uh, five-star look, which or five-spoke look. I really like that. I, I, I like the way it looks with the carbs. I left some of the chrome on my car. Um, and blacked out, I just think it looks a little generic. There's so many cars these days that they just black it, gloss black, you know, on the whole wheel. It looks a little generic. The way these wheels look now with the five spoke with the black accents, I think it looks excellent. Um, so that's just my overall thoughts on the new Camry uh, 2021. Um, but that's just what I think about the lineup. Um, you know, what do I, you know, do I think it's better than my car? Definitely not. I mean, it's just a little step up. I kind of like the subtle styling of the front. You know, the new ones, you look at them, and you're like, wow, they really kind of made it aggressive. This is still a little bit more subtle. It's not really in your face. The new ones, it's a little bit more in your face. Um, and, you know, it's something that is going to maybe grow on me. And I'm definitely going to wait for the new generation and see what I, see what I think and see what Toyota can bring new to the table. So thanks, for, guys, for watching the video. Uh, and I'm going to be having a couple more videos coming soon about this car, about other cars. Uh, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.